Okay, everyone, we're back. Uh, next topic is in our Spine 101 series, what, what does your weight play in the role of your back pain? So this is a really good topic and one that really applies to pretty much everybody. The thing that you have to understand as you're learning more about your spine is that the function of your spine uh, has a lot to do with the amount of stress that we're putting on it. And the more that we weigh, the more stress we're putting on each of the discs in our spine. These discs are not made of material that lasts forever. And so the less stress that we can put on those joints, to many degrees, the, uh, in, in many instances, the better, okay? If you weigh 10, 20, 30, even 50 pounds overweight, you're going to experience an exponential increase in force across the discs in your spine. So it shouldn't be um, unexpected that if you're overweight, you're going to have more pain in your back, one, and almost more importantly, you're going to have more permanent damage and permanent injury to the discs and the joints in your spine. I'm sure that makes sense. Here's the problem. Doctors are human beings. We don't like to be offensive to people. It's really easy for me in this video because I'm not looking at you across the room face to face, but to be honest with you, it's hard to tell a patient, listen, you need to lose weight and you need to lose a lot of weight because it's, it's I mean, it's offensive and everyone's been burned telling someone anything about their weight. It's just kind of taboo, but in medicine, it's a big deal. And in spine, it's a huge deal. So I think the one thing I want you to gather from at least this educational um, clip is that being overweight is not just a problem right now. It is a way for you to cause permanent injury to your discs and the joints in your back long term that you may never be able to fix because you advance or accelerate the degenerative process in, in the discs that we've already reviewed in some of these animations. You basically push that forward and you can't go back in time. Now there's a lot of stuff you can do to try to make up, but what I'm hoping that you'll get is that, hey, I never want that to happen to my spine. So it is true that the more movement in our spine, the more, the more healthy and appropriate movement in our spine allows our spine to stay healthy and allows the nutrition and um, uh, to, the, to the joints in our spine, but sometimes overuse or over, overly repetitive use um, can really not be healthy to the spine. So if you're looking to lose weight uh, and reduce the stress in your spine, there's lots of ways you can do it that don't include things like squatting 300 pounds or crossfitting, you know, tremendous amount of weight over your head. There's lots of ways you can do it. It's not just uh, exercise. It is not just diet. It is always a combination of the two and it is usually a life-changing event.